Oh hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for watching my video. And welcome back to another episode of Barbie's Magical Adventures. This episode is going to be a bit different because we're not going to be focusing too much on Barbie today. Skipper recently aged up into a young adult, which was a bit sooner than what I was expecting, but you know, it happened. I guess that's life, isn't it? It just passes you by. So I thought today what we would do is we would give Skipper a little bit of independence. She does have a boyfriend, but we haven't really seen much of him. So in this episode, we are going to move Skipper out of the family home and she's going to go move into an apartment with her boyfriend and start setting down some roots of her own. You know, she's got to stop living in Barbie's shadow. I mean, grow up. You're a young adult now, Skipper. What do you think this is? A joke? This isn't a joke. This is real life. Um, and also Ken has moved in to help out with the babies. I mean, he's pretty much a single dad. Barbie doesn't really do much. So, house is getting pretty crowded. I think now is a good time for Skipper to really branch out on her own and start a, a life as a young woman. So, we are going to get her to split from the house and move. I have already moved her boyfriend into an apartment. Well, get out of the fucking pool then. Don't just sit there and say you can't do it. Get out of the pool. Use your brain. Oh, see, this is why she needs to move out. She needs to build up some fucking independence and resilience. Because right now, she's a mopey fucking child. Doesn't know how to do anything. So we're going to split from household. We're going to move in with her boyfriend who already has an apartment in San Myshuno. It's going to be great. So in case you can't tell, this is going to be a very skipper-heavy episode. And we'll pick up on Barbie's story next episode, don't worry. It's all going to be about Barbie, but for this one, we're going to focus more on Skipper. I'll just give her, I mean, they've got a lot of money. They can afford to give Skipper a couple of grand. There we go. So this is Skipper's boyfriend's apartment. So we're just going to go join him. We'll join him. It's going to be a good time. Oh, look, they're both wearing flannel shirts. How have I only just noticed this? I feel like we're going to, it's probably a good time to give Skipper a bit of a makeover anyway. You know, leave those teenage years behind. Embrace being an adult. So this is Skipper and Dale's apartment. I tried to go with the same colourful aesthetic. I realise he's still a teen. Is he going to age up soon or? He's going to be a teen for 50 days, apparently. Uh, I think I'm just going to change that. You know, Skipper's age into a young adult. I think it's probably about time he did too. So how are we going to build them a solid foundation? How are we going to get them acting like adults? Well, I think first things first, I'm going to get Skipper to enrol in university. And then Dale... Dale doesn't really need an education. You know, he's a good looking boy. Doesn't need anything more than that. So I might just get him to just find a job. He can pay for their lifestyle while Skipper gets an education. Mainly because I don't really give a shit about him. Okay, so her uni application is on its way. I feel like you two should, you know, try and become official. You guys have been going out since you were teens. Why don't you go and woohoo and not try for a baby? Do not try for a baby. She's got such shiny hair, doesn't she? Take this on into the bedroom. Oh shit, you know what though? I've just remembered. Shit. I've got that pregnancy mod. <clears throat> I've got that pregnancy mod installed, so I wonder if there's a way I can get her to like order items. Like maybe order, well, order condom, sure, but I would also quite like to see if I can get her like a plan B <laughs> or something. <laughs> because she's got, um, they didn't use any protection, so just kind of wondering can I even can I even get plan B what about medicine would it be under medicine no oh shit it's not like she's pregnant oh skipper don't be pregnant don't ruin it we've only been playing for five minutes tell me she's not pregnant oh fuck's sake I genuinely did not intend for that to happen Right, I know this is going to seem proper harsh, okay, but it is a game, and I just, I just didn't want her to have a baby. She's just starting out. She's going to go to uni, so checked out from ongoing termination of pregnancy. Oh, that's what happens when you don't use fucking condoms, isn't it? Let that be a lesson to everyone. Well, now she has condoms, 
So hopefully that won't happen anymore. You know what might make you feel better? Maybe if we just get a cat. How about that? Let's adopt a cat and then everything will be fine. Okay, what about... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This cat's pretty cute. This little orange one. Let's get her. Which reminds me, Dale, you need to get a job. Let's adopt this cat and then you need to get a dog. Uh, <laughs> not a dog. You need to get a job. Look at this little guy. Hey, you want to live here? Hey, I like the pets uh, in this game. I feel like there was a, a lot of love given to the animations of them. I think they're really cute. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. We'll give her Skipper's last name, and we'll keep we'll keep her name. She's already Aww. used to it, so. Aww. Well, let's let's try and get to know the cat. God, those neighbours are so <laughs> noisy. What are they doing? Shut the fuck up. Pound on the door. Don't knock politely. Pound on that door. I have terrible patience for <laughs> noisy neighbours. <laughs> I get very angry. <laughs> I think it's because where um where we used to live. In the UK, we had um, we lived in an apartment, and there was an apartment above us, and um, there were a load of guys that lived there. I think they were going to university, and um, they used to throw parties sometimes. But they would always knock on our door and be like, "Hey, we're going to throw a party. You guys are more than welcome to come." We never did go, but we appreciated the invite, so we never complained whenever they had parties. And then any time we had a party, which wasn't very often, but when we did, and, you know, they were always legendary, we would usually let our neighbours know. So I don't mind noisy neighbours in that sense. How are you feeling, Skipper? You doing okay? Doing okay? Hopefully you got into uni, otherwise that was all for nothing. Well, she does have some skills. I didn't even realise she had a skill in skiing. This is all stuff she's done behind the scenes. She's actually quite a, a brainy girl. Good job, Skipper. Good job. Right, Dale. I think you've been a layabout for too long. You need to find a job. You need to Nudge. pay for our <laughs> lifestyle. What would be a good career for Dale? The thing is, he doesn't really have much personality. I've never really tried to get to know him, so I don't really know what kind of kind of job he would be good at, to be honest. What about the military? Yeah, we'll put him in the, in the military. I think he would enjoy that. Yeah. All right, well, we're all settling in. Let's put some food in the bowl for Hayden. And then I think we should probably just try and get some sleep. Because I want to get uh, Skipper enrolled in university. And I always forget how long it takes. Aw, Hayden's lazy. I always forget how long it takes to uh, be accepted into uni. For some reason, I have a feeling it's like two or three days. But I'm really hoping that's not the case because I just can't. Can't be asked to wait that long. Although maybe we could give Skipper a little bit of a makeover today. Oh dear, she's very sad. Oh, This wasn't supposed to be a sad story. This was supposed to be a happy story. Why don't you eat your colourful cereal? That would make you feel better, won't it? Yeah. We all love Fruit Loops. Right, so I'm going to hop into Create a Sim and just give her a little bit of a makeover. Okay, so we've had a very subtle makeover. I say makeover, I literally just changed her clothes. <laughs> I didn't want to change too much about her though, I quite like her edgy aesthetic. I like that Skipper isn't all pink and pastel like Barbie and her friends, so I'm going to keep her like this. And then let's see how we get on getting accepted into university. Hey, we have officially been accepted into university, but we were not accepted into any distinguished degrees. Oh well, never mind. We can still uh, enrol. So that's what I'm going to do. Enrol in university. We'll do it from home, obviously. Didn't do all the effort of moving them here to get her to move out. Oh, she's a bit sad that she wasn't able to get a uh, distinguished degree. Oh well. Okay, so I guess now it's decision time. Which university will we go to? We can go to Brychester. Or we can go to Foxbury. I think Skip is going to go Brychester. But what kind of degree should she do? How about uh, psychology? We'll do... Um, I'll do four classes in psychology. And that way we can do it in three weeks. I think it should take three weeks. And I might try and take her down the teaching career. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. 
I'm just going to do it at home. I did apply for some scholarships as well. So she should have, yeah, so the whole degree or this uh, semester is only costing 960 simoleons. Sweet, sweet. Okay, well, Skipper is enrolled at university. Dale has a job. They've got their own home. They have a cat that has just thrown up on the floor. Oh, no, it's just hair. Okay, thank goodness. So uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I think we've kind of set Skipper up quite nicely to be independent now. She's still going to be involved in the story. She'll pop by from time to time. I'm sure we'll see her. I'm sure this won't be the last time we're at her apartment. But yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Friends. please like and subscribe. Friends. And I'll see you in the next episode where we'll be back to Barbie's story. Bye-bye.